Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo Idea Center 310S. The full model number will be below in the description. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your power cord. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew this screw here and this screw here to take off this panel. After that, you can grab this panel right here and pull it and it releases. To get the front panel off, there's these three black clips. We're gonna pull out that one, pull out that one, pull out that one. Lift up the computer a little bit and the front face can come off. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts for this computer. To get this component up to access the internal components, we're gonna push on this blue tab. There's an arrow on the tab, also an arrow here on the metal. You're gonna push that in, and then this pops up like that. And that releases your hard drive and gets you full access to this area. You have a single RAM port right here. Now this computer takes DDR3 1866 megahertz RAM, and you have a maximum capacity of eight gigabytes. So most of you will have a four gigabyte stick that comes stock in your computer. So below in the description, in that list I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer, I will have a four gigabyte stick there if you just wanna replace one that went bad and you wanna spend as little as possible, but I will also include an eight gigabyte compatible stick if you wanna fully upgrade and max out your RAM. The way that you operate RAM, there's two spring-loaded metal arms on either side. You would gently pull those apart from each other. The RAM stick will then release. It will oftentimes pop up a little bit, and then you can slide it right out of that plug. To get RAM back in, if you notice, there's a long section and a short section, so you can't put it in upside down. It can only go in the correct way. You're gonna put it back in the port, slide it in, Make sure it's even and flush. Make sure that gold section is nice and even across. And then you just press down in the center and those arms grab onto it and hold it in place. Keep in mind with a RAM upgrade, if you're here because you're trying to increase your computer's performance, its speed, uh, upgrading RAM, maxing out your RAM is a great way to do that. Probably one of the easiest and cheapest ways to increase your speed or your performance. If you want another idea to increase those, upgrading your storage is also a good idea. I'll have more information on that below in the description. But that's the end of this instructional video. I hope it was helpful. Please like and share if it was, if you think it can help someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content, or if you want to keep me on hand to answer any future questions, I do answer all questions at least a couple times a day. Remember though, if you do have a question, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. Thank you so much everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.